What's up guys, we're going to 88 your host for Card Capital. I'm doing a top four deck profile. We had uh, Narukami make it to the top four of our shop's regional uh, stand-up cup qualifier. So let's go ahead and take a look. Hey guys. Kai Toshki. <laughs> the real deal. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's actually my nickname in the sense. I am nicknamed Kai Toshki. So let's begin with that. So this is my Narukami deck, which I've got, which I secured top four with at Bartlett for the stand-up qualifier regional. I'm just going to go through and explain some of my choices and preferences. So let's just start with the starter, grade zero, Spark Kid Dragoon. The reason I chose Spark Kid was basically because I only run seven grade threes to up guard pro guarding, so then if I miss it, I can possibly hit it with Spark Kid. On top of that, I chose not to run Saishin because I know it can hit Conroe and Wingo Brave, but it really depends on you going first a lot, so that's too dependent for me. On top of that, I want more guard, so I run less grade threes. And then my trigger lineup is 8 crit, 4 heal, 4 draw, which is kind of the standard. It's a vermilion based build, so no stand triggers. Then my grade 1 lineup Four Red River, four Sentinels, Wyvern Guard Gold, two Ryans, three Photon Bombers, Rising Phoenix, and uh, Riki. To explain a few choices, initially I had a Rai Rai in here, but I decided to take it out in favor of some other things, which I'll go over. I have three Photon Bombers because it's a the end format, so Kim is going to be around a lot, Berserk's going to be around a lot. I really want to get a 21 column with Vermillion. I run Riki as well, just for the 7k, and on top of that, if I have extra counter blasts, I can probably hit the higher numbers with some weaker guards, which I actually did in the tournament today, and it saved me. Rising Phoenix I run one of, because you're probably only going to use it, in fact, you're probably only going to get to use it once, so why run more? Four Sand Heals, basically the end hits for high numbers, and then Majesty Lord hits for high numbers if I don't hit Vermillion, so yeah. My grade 2 lineup, 4 Thunderstorms, 2 Hex Cannons, 2 Death Scythe, and 3 Garda. The Hex Cannons are probably the one I was questioning most. Initially I took them out because I know as a standalone they can't hit cross rides, but in, conjec but in conjecture with the, 7K, with the 7Ks they can at least hit 18K against a cross ride, and with Photon Bomber in the rear guard again it's 17K against Majesty Lord. Guard I wanted to cut down to two, but kept it at three for preferences. Death Scythe I kept it two. And then let's move on to the grade threes. Four Vermillions, because I want to ride it. Pretty self-explanatory there. Uh, well, some people like to do three Vermillions, basically because it's a vanilla 11k in the rear guard, but even so, that is the same purpose as Hex Cannon, because it becomes an 11k in the rear guard, you hitting 18 with 7ks and so forth. Which is why I run four, and I just really want to ride it. Okay, so then why all the one ups right here? Well, basically because I can't run seven Vermillion. Yeah. <laughs> and then Jin. Jin is a 2k self booster, and since it can hit Majesty Lord Blaster on its own, I figure it's meritable at one. It just can't hit the end on its own, which is why I run Breakthrough because Jin can't hit anything other than the Vanguard. I have Breakthrough for the extra 2k with 6ks, and it, with the Rising Phoenix, it can hit Majesty Lord for a 10k block too. And then last is Thunderbreak. Thunderbreak is an alternate ride Vanguard, which is also explainable for Jin, because Jin, on the Vanguard circle, gets a 4k boost whenever it attacks. Thunderbreak will get a 5k boost when it's at limit break, and it serves as a death site if you ride it. Alright. And pretty... that's a summary of my deck. Well, thank you very much for the deck profile, and congratulations on making the top four. Thank you.